hello guys so in the previous video we designed a login form so in this video what we're going to do is that we're going to convert our ui file into a python file how do we do this so simply you have to save the file so i have my file saved here so you save us so i have it saved as login all right so let me save it login yes replace after saving the file you then have to go to the folder where you have the file so i have my file in this folder so in the folder you use the command prompt so cmd and then that's it, it opens then you use the pi uic5 so pi uic5 and then you would use the uh input name so that so that um the input file is login right so input the name is login and then the output file you could use any name for the output file so output oh and you could call it okay sorry dot ui and then for the output file you could call it login right same name dot py y which is for python all right then you enter so when you enter you could see that a python file has been generated over here right then you have to just close it let's just close it and verify if it has really been opened so how we verify by using my notebook or using my jupyter notebook now my Jupyter notebook opens up my browser then you go to the desktop and search for where you have your files so in this file you have the python file and then you have the the uh, qt designer file now let's open the python file so this is how it, op it, it appears it appears like this when you run this file you're going to get the same design in the qt file so let me create a new python file here let me create a new notebook remember this is a python file so let's create a new notebook and then copy our elements from here into the notebook okay and let me call this login and save it then let's run this to see if we can get the same output all right so it's been run that is it so that is that you have a login a simple login form here so the login the user can enter the name his or her name so password let's say just a random password and then you could sign in but here because i haven't linked up the buttons to any function it doesn't do anything so in the next video we're going to link up our, our button here to another form and then see how things work out from there please do subscribe this is how to change a ui to a py file and if you have any topic you like me to cover you can just put it in the in the comment section please like the video and do subscribe for more interesting stuff thank you